Okay, I got my uh, my uh, mounting board here, and I went and marked it all out where the uh, holes need to be drilled. On the back side here, I used a uh, pocket hole jig, and uh, that's where I'm going to put put uh, the screws to mount it on the uh, little shelf there. And what it is is this one happens to have that little uh, voltage meter here so the back side of it um, the, these holes will not go all the way through so what we need to do is for <clears throat> three of the holes we need to uh, use a one and one quarter inch uh, hole saw and on the other one we need to use an inch and a half just for the one so this locking ring here that uh, secures it will be able to fit through that hole okay I got the uh, the voltage meter on there that goes through the bigger hole and you can see that the uh, locking ring goes through there and then we'll uh, go ahead and put the other ones in, put the locking ring on the back here, that'll lock it in. And when that's all done, then I'll put the screws in on the front here and uh, secure it. Okay, I got uh, the uh, stuff mounted in there. And I got it secured on the back with the, uh, the nuts there. So I'm going to go ahead and put all these screws in here tighten them down. Okay to uh, get our wires to come up I uh, went and found the wall underneath and there is a brace that's uh, about an inch and an eighth wide so I'm going to come in two inches here drill a hole and that'll make sure it misses everything and I'll, that's where I'll run my wires through for the power. Okay on the opposite side here I got the uh, split here and I'm going to go ahead and install that with the uh, Craig Jag screws. Okay we're ready to hook up this other side. This will be the hot wire coming off the battery. This switch here has uh, three prongs on it. The uh, copper colored one there is for the LED and uh, we're not going to be uh, hooking an LED up to it and so I won't be using that one so we'll just uh, do one of the other ones there plug that one in there then I got three ground wires here and the one going to the other side and coming off the uh, battery is the green and then here is on the opposite side of the switch for the uh, the uh, other two or other three items here the voltmeter the USB and the uh, 12 volt power point so we'll just go ahead stick this one through it doesn't matter which one hook that one up to the other uh, silver there And then we'll go ahead, hook all these to the positive, these to the negative, and then we can uh, tap into the battery line. Okay, I went and I uh, screwed it in so it's in there solid. Okay, I got my wires coming down there. I uh, went and stapled them up there. And there was a cover here uh, to power up the uh, stabilizer jacks. Uh, this uh, brown wire here connected to this red one, that'll be my positive. That'll uh, put my uh, blue wire on that I've been using. And my green wire will go to this black wire here. So I'll clip these off. I drilled a hole in the side here. And on my positive, I'm going to put a fuse in there, in line. Okay, I got the wires uh, all together there. 
I'm going to uh, put a fuse in there. I'm not sure which one to use. I'm going to just start out with a 10 amp and uh, see if that works. Okay, I'm all set to test it out here. Turn my power on there. I have a converter that will convert from 12 volts to 24 volts, what this, this thing needs here. And uh, it's powering up. I'm going to put my mask on and uh, test it out. Okay, it works, and uh, you may want to uh, contact your uh, health provider there and uh, see if they can turn the heater off, and uh, that'll save a little bit of your battery power, but uh, I find it to be an, a success. So I'm going to uh, take some uh, pieces of wood here and then uh, box in where my wires are and uh, then I'll be all done.